Welcome to another video tutorial by Tech. In this episode, we will demonstrate how to save a picture when embedded or attached to an email. You've probably noticed that you'll receive emails with pictures embedded as an inline image right in the email versus an email with a, an attachment. I have two emails here. This one has a little paperclip icon and this is in Outlook 2010. The appearance is similar in other versions of Outlook. And you would think that this email does not have an attachment. If I select this email to read it, you'll see here that there is a picture. If I select this email, there is no picture, but there is an attachment. This is called an inline image. Emails that are sent from an iPhone sometimes will be attached or appear as shown in this email where they're actually an inline image right in the email. To save this picture, you want to take your mouse, right click on it, choose Save Picture As, and then it opens up your dialog box. You should be in My Pictures folder, which is part of My Documents. If I click on My Documents, go to My Pictures, which is where we were before. Create a new folder. I'm going to call this Email Attachments. And I'm going to name this picture. I'm going to name it Lake Tahoe. Burnt Cedar Beach. Call it number one. Okay, now I'll go to this email and to save this attachment I right click on it. Now I can actually preview the image and I've previewed right in the email. This you could not do in Outlook 2002, and I don't believe you could do it in 2003 either. Okay, we click Save As. And I'm going to navigate to... Okay, notice that we're in My Documents. We want to go back to um, My Pictures. email attachments and we'll save it as a JPEG. Now I'm going to open the folder that I saved it in and notice that the inline image was saved as a PNG file and the attachment was saved as an attachment. A PNG file basically is a graphic format used in web pages quite often and so Outlook defaults to saving the image as a PNG file. If I wish to preview the image I can click on it and now we're previewing it. I'll preview the JPEG and of course it's the same image. And that's really it. And that's the methodology used to save an inline image versus an attachment. 
And either one of these can be opened in Picasa or some other software to actually perform cropping, editing, or printing. Hope you enjoyed this uh, short video tutorial on how to save attachments when the photographs when they're also embedded as an inline image in your email.